All right, guys, this is the 21st hired request on my list. On the list it says it's a, a meatloaf song, but it's, uh, it's by the same guy who hired me to do two of them. So I'm doing this Chicago song first. Hard to say I'm sorry, Chicago. I know this song very well. Um, let me play the intro for you here. because I like that song so much. Hello, I'm Sean Cheek. Welcome to my Easy Piano Lessons. Uh, <clears throat> this is the free part one I always put on YouTube. I have thousands and thousands of lessons that I've done over the past six or seven years on my website, webpianoteacher.com. Uh, you can get the rest of the lessons for this song. I'm about to teach you this part one, but I'm going to tell you what, I, what I've done uh, that's on the website for this song. I'm going to show you, of course, the whole the keyboard part, what's being played in the song, on the keyboard, the chords. Also, I show you some melody, how to put some melody in the right hand. Now, I don't write all the notes out for the melody, okay? But I know some of you like to play melody in the right hand. So I show you how to do that in the song for the verse and the chorus, okay? So I show you how to put the chords and put the melody on, on top. So you need to kind of, you know, know piano a little bit to understand what I'm doing if you follow my lessons. But I do include uh, how to play the melody for this as well as the chords. This is also what I do. I put at the end the guitar solo. That's in it, you know, it goes All that. I put the, the guitar solo in there. You can play that. Also put the string uh, thing that's in there at the end after that. So the instrumental part, that's in there as well. Just because I like this song so much. Um, so let's get started with it. <clears throat> and I actually fell in love with it as I uh, was in high school. I was in high school band, you know, marching band. We went on a trip to Disney World and I bought a Chicago's Greatest Hits of the, you know, 80s, whatever. Um, and this was on there. This is, you know, just a great song. B, E, G sharp on the right hand. Let's do one, two, four. And then we'll go B, E, G sharp again. And I have a, an electronic keyboard sound on here. I'm using a, a, a patch of an electronic, uh, two electronic keyboards. I'm layering them. And I'm putting a chorus and reverb on it. So that's what sound I'm using. And then one, two, four with B, E, G sharp again. So you go one, two. So count to two after you play that. Left hand's on an E octave and it's one, two. And I'm going to go ba, 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 ba. So here's going to be C sharp, E, A with one, two, five. And then G sharp, F sharp, E, F sharp. Left hand goes to a C sharp octave here. So it's one, two. Let's do that again. One, two. Now, while I'm holding that F sharp with my three, I'm going to play softly underneath it, B and D sharp. And I'm going to hit the F sharp pretty hard. I'm going to smack it. And then B and D sharp underneath. Okay? So it's one, two. And I'm going to play a C sharp octave on my left hand. And then B, D sharp, F sharp, ba, 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 ba. Now, I really should call that a B sharp if I'm going to be theoretically correct there. And I'm just going to call it a C natural for ease of, of uh, understanding what the note is. C natural, D sharp, and G sharp. Left hand, we're just going to do a C octave, C natural octave. Okay, so it's ba 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 ba. And then F sharp, E, D sharp. And then we have something that goes. A turn. We'll get to that in a minute. Let's let's tie all this together to this point here, and go one, two. Now we have. 
have this. Now, I put a parenthesis here for G sharp and C sharp. If you can do it, that means you'd have to do the turn with 5, 4, 3. And that's difficult for some people. If you can't do that, just leave it out and go. Okay, so you can leave the G sharp and C sharp out. And then you can do the turn with 4, 3, 2, 3. But it's fast, right? F sharp, E, D sharp, E. Ba -da -da -da. Okay, but if you can do it, then you'll have to play it with five. If I get in the middle of the piano, if I stand up, it's easier for me, but I'm at this angle, it's hard to pull it off. Okay, so I'll leave that up to you how you want to do that. It sounds just fine not playing these two. But the left hand goes C sharp and then B. And then we have G sharp, G sharp, C sharp, E, bum, 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 bum. And then here it's A sharp, C sharp, F sharp, and F sharp major chord, all black keys. And then E, D sharp, C sharp. Okay? Uh, the left hand there is an A sharp octave, of course. But if I start with a turn going slow. Okay, again. One, two. Let's go from the beginning at a moderately slow tempo. One, Okay, so there you have it. We finish it on the website, webpianoteacher.com. This is a little bit difficult for you, but you're really interested in this type of, of learning. Uh, I have beginner lessons on my site, so I have 50 very just basic beginner lessons to teach you about chords, teach you how to put your hands together and play in rhythm and that sort of thing. That will kind of get you jump started so you can get to this stuff that you like. Uh, Seanchick.com is my sight reading site. If you want to read real music notation, learn how to read music, that's what that's about. I just have sight reading lessons on there. It's not any popular songs, but it's just sight reading lessons, some classical music and that sort of thing on there with, with PDF printouts on that one. Uh, Facebook is the best place to get a hold of me to see what I'm up to, see what's coming out, new lessons and so forth. Uh, just do a, a Facebook search for webpianoteacher.com. I'll talk to you guys later.